Hey everybody, so I'm back. This is gonna be just my third video, my third painting. So I was gonna to try to wait for the flow trawl and everything to show up from Amatron, uh, from Amatron, Amazon, uh, the flow trawl from Amazon. And some of the other things that I ordered it hasn't shown up yet and I felt like painting again. I still have the leftover paint from my first two. So we're gonna try something a little different but so that means my colors are still the artist left old gold which really looks a little bit more like cream uh, taupe whatever um because i don't have flow troll so it mixed differently um my look at me blue from folk art uh, which looks like this and my deep red from Artist Loft, which really looks pink because again, instead of using Floetrol, I'm using this, the uh, Liquitex Gesso Acrylic Mediums, anyway, um, mixed with my Artist Loft Titanium White. So I got this stuff wrong. That's what happens when I don't write things down. So the right stuff is coming, but in the meantime, we're gonna do this. And so this is just the, uh, the Liquitex and the titanium white, right? So we're gonna try um, something that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a a flip cup or circles. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, or sorry, you're getting my shadow in here. I'm trying to fix the light so that doesn't happen. See if I move my light to this way, then you don't get as much shadow from me. So that kind of works, except I don't want the shadow from the light either. Okay, so hopefully that's better. All right, um, I need to make sure I have some paper towels handy because I think I'm probably going to make a mess. Because you know, I make messes, it's kind of what I do. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. I have a couple of those handy here so you can see what I'm doing because my camera's stand isn't, anyway, I put it too high then you guys can't see the thing and so this way I just need to have some paper towels ready for my picky hands here. So, um, yeah, because I don't have the Flutrol, I don't have a cell activator, so we're not really going to see a lot of cells. And my last thing, so I'm going to give you guys just a quick reminder. This was what I wound up doing with the failed first attempt at a Dutch pour with the blow dryer. Um, this is how that second one turned out. I hope you can... See this I actually like this one. This one turned out really pretty. I, it does look like I missed popping a couple of bubbles. I don't really have cells because, like I said, I don't have the cell activators. So, let's see how this turns out. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. I just I felt like getting out here and messing with the paint. And um, I promised myself and you guys I won't paint without going online. So um, forgive me as I'm new to this whole videotaping thing and how all that stuff works. So, all right, we start by flooding the canvas. Uh, this is an eight by 10 gall um, gallery wrapped canvas. I wanna make sure I've got enough to go everywhere. Get it off the edge, make sure my edges get taken care of. I hope you guys can see all of this because I had to, couldn't get the camera to do what I wanted it to. And you know, my lovely assistants are working, doing other things. Let's see, do I have enough white to get it all the way across? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I may have to pour a little bit more on there. All right, this one just, oops, one more. Okay, I'm gonna get that in there and get it touched over. So it all connects. Let's see. Oops. Come on. So. Okay. Make 
making sure I get all my edges and yeah, I like gloves, but I also like just the I actually I like the feel of the paint, sort of. And I don't want to make a huge mess. So all right, so we're gonna hope that we get enough on here. I don't want to put too much because I don't really want to waste paint. I'm really not into wasting. So there's that. Let's see if we can get bubbles. Ah go. Okay, so bubbles, bubbles. This is just a good old fashioned fireplace barbecue grill lighter. Um, cause I'm waiting for my beauty pit tan lighter to come from Amazon. Um, which by the way, I don't currently have an Amazon shop, but my, um, mentor, not that she knows that at the moment, but anyway, my favorite, um, Current acrylic pour artist, Canela Sirocco, um, does have an Amazon shop, and so that's where I ordered my stuff through, was her Amazon shop. Should hopefully all show up tomorrow. I'm just trying to catch all my bubbles. It takes a lot longer with this lighter than it looks like it takes her with her little butane torch. So, all right, so I'm gonna do Pour. I have to actually bend down to look to see if you guys can see what I'm pouring in here. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with my gold, my old gold. Pour some of that in there. And then the look at me blue. And believe it or not, this beautiful pink color is deep red. Apparently they keep their colors better with Floetrol. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more gold in there. Uh, and some more blue. And then the last little bit of this, it's really supposed to be deep red, but obviously that is a pink. Okay. Um, and then just gonna pour it and then we're gonna go from there nice and slow and kind of see what happens Try to... I'm not sure how this is really gonna work this is my first time doing this pull this up I'm gonna just get all of it out of there I hope you can kind of see what's happening there I said as these go along, they'll look a little better. So, um, gonna pop bubbles. I guess that's the next step is to come on. There we go. Is to pop the bubbles so that I don't wind up with little pinholes in the paint, which is what I noticed happens. Oh no. This is, the, this is the whole purpose of my videos, so that you see the realities of what happens. All right, so my lighter is out. So give me one second. Right back. And it looks like, okay, sorry about that, folks, that it took so long for me to get back. Okay, so there we go. Pop the bubbles so that I don't wind up with little pinholes in the paint, which I did in my last painting. Like I said, my butane lighter hasn't arrived yet, kind of like with my Floatron stuff. That's all supposed to come from Amazon and sometime this next week. I just didn't want to wait to play with the paint. So... There you go, and I don't want to paint without sharing. So thank you for bearing with me. If you just want to fast forward through to the end, that's fine. Somewhere on here, by the time I get my YouTube channel up and going, there will be a subscribe button and a, and a bell. I'm gonna stretch that that way a little bit. Now, I always see, everybody always pours a little bit of extra white, um, 
paint around the outside. That's probably way too much. Woo! Yeah. Oh well. This is paint that I'm going to wind up getting rid of anyway in the end when I get my good stuff. And I also want to do this. It was just a little plastic fork. So before I really stretch it, let's give it a little bit more character. Oh, I dragged that too much. And just gently get your fork in there. Okay. Well, like I said, this is kind of a learning process for all of us. I just wanted there to be some videos that were really about this is what happens when you think, oh, that looks cool. I could do that. Right? Okay. okay. I'm just trying this so because I thought it would be cool looking. Okay, and then I'm gonna stretch it. Give me just a second here to finish doing it. This. Okay. I think I see a few more bubbles so let me get those really quick before I start stretching. I didn't pop bubbles in that extra white that I poured, so I got bubbles there and mixing in with the other stuff. Come on, pop a little bubble. to tell you. So you also have to make sure when you're doing this that everything's really level. So that's why I have my little level here. I did make sure I'm level so that when it dries it doesn't flow everywhere. Alright, so we're going to do this. I'm going to tilt this way a little bit. Stretch. Let it get just over the edge. And then bring it back. I want to go this way and get that corner down there. Just, okay, and pull it back, bring it back to center. I hope this is low enough for you guys to still see. Okay, got that corner, and bring back around over to this corner, and let's see. And off of that corner, we'll leave a little bit of white there. Let's bring it back to center. Sorry, I know this is really hot and this is probably a really bad video because I didn't have my helpers around to help me set it up. My camera. Okay, so my, I have a helper in the room who wants to do things and she can't see what she's doing and so that's a problem. Like, okay. Or maybe not. Okay. I got a little bit. But you can't see what it was seeing. Okay, so. All right, I'm going to wipe my fingers off for a minute. Now, I am noticing some more bubbles that didn't get popped. So I want to pop those. So you see these little tiny black, they probably look like little black spots to you guys. Those are bubbles, believe it or not. And I like, want to get them to pop. Otherwise, they look like little tiny black pinholes when everything dries. Don't smoke. Pop. Bubbles pop. Okay, those don't want to go. Okay. Try to get all of them. Because I'd like to have one that's nice enough to, at the very least, give away. If not, you know, one of my kids will love it because I'm their mama. But, you know. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, I've still got a little hole back here. Like, I've got corners that don't have paint on them, so I'm going to add a little paint to the corners. Okay. Looking at all my edges. Oh, I've got a little. 
Over here is some hair down here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to scrape underneath the edge. Now, um, something I did not do on my last two, but I remembered to do on this one, and it's a little too late to show you, is that I did actually tape the back this time so that my back doesn't look like a mess. All right, but you have to scrape that underneath edge, otherwise the weight of those drips will pull this all down. So, um, I think... I want to do, I want to see if I can release a little bit of color in here. Just add a little bit of color in there into the center. Okay, so I think I'm done. I'm not going to do anything else tonight, so... When it dries, I uh, will come back and take another picture and then that'll get added on at the beginning or the end or whatever. How, what, whatever my editing crew does. That would be my teenage daughters, by the way. So thank you very much. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like and ring the bell and, you know, thumbs upy things and all that kind of stuff. See you next time.